Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome to the October 2018 update video. Today I have three things to update you all. First up is my schedule for this month. Secondly is a slight disruption in the production, and I'll tell you about that and what that means. And lastly, I'm going to update you on the status of my current series and what you can expect in the near future. So let's get to it. But before I get too far into it, I do want to say in the video description, I'll be leaving sort of a summary of the update in case you'd prefer to read about it rather than hear me speak it. So first of all is the video schedule for this month. As with last month, I've posted this in the About section of my video channel page, and that includes the exact date that, of every video that will be released this month, and what video you can expect on that date. So there you go. Also like last month, it only includes four videos, so it'll be about roughly one video a week. And also like last month, it includes only videos from the game programming series, which might be a little bit odd because the last time I told you you could expect a Vulcan series in the near future. The reason behind this sort of sameism is there was a slight disruption to my video production, and I already wrote about this to my patrons, so if you're a patron you've already read about this, but for everyone else, here's the situation. And I want to start out by saying that this situation is just because of bad planning on my part. It's not like anything terrible has happened, I just didn't plan as well as I probably should have, and as a result things have gotten delayed by a little bit. So yeah. So what happened is, back in August I'd intended to do all the planning for the game portion of the 3D game programming series, and all the planning for the Vulcan series and have that done by the end of August. Then in September and onwards, I could just bulk produce all those series, have tons of videos out for everyone, and it would all be good. It was a seemingly awesome plan in theory. And the problem is I screwed up the estimation. I expected there to be less planning necessary for the Vulcan series and the game portion series than there ended up being. And I also expected that I would have more time available to do said planning. I wasn't expecting the new things coming in at the end of August, namely the extra work for my master's thesis, because that should be wrapping up soon, and the extra work from my starting my final semester of classes to take as much time as it did. So I had much less time to do planning that was much bigger than I expected, and I didn't have a way to handle that, because I really thought I could just do it all in August and just keep the pipeline going, but that didn't happen. So that's what happened, and here's how this is going to impact the video production. The Vulcan series should be the least impacted by this. As of right now, this recording, it's not totally 100% completely planned out, but there's enough planning in there that I'm actively working on producing the series right now. So, yeah, that should be not an issue. You should be seeing videos from that series pretty soon, within the next week or two if you're a patron, or early November if you're not. So that should be grand. The game portion is a little bit of a different story though. Aside from just the production delay, it also is much more dependent on having a complete plan for production, because you know, just about any small element you add to the game can ultimately end up affecting the rest of it. I'd like to give a good presentation of this. So that's an issue. And compounding that is I've already had to scrap my first two planned initial games because they ultimately didn't capture what I wanted for the first game in the game programming series. So planning for that's gotten a little bit crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still hoping I can get something ready by the start of November for that, and then we'll have alternating Vulcan and game portion of the game programming series videos. That is my ultimate goal, that's been my ultimate vision from the beginning. 
But I don't know at this point. At this point, it's just... It's turned into a bit of a planning conundrum. <laughs> Either way, it's still going to get to you guys one way or another, even if it's not precisely when I hope for it to. And that's really what matters most. So, the good news is that it's still coming, even if it's been delayed. And more good news is I have listened to all the various requests you guys have had for what you'd like to see in the game portion. Thank you very much for all the suggestions. I think it's awesome. I would love to include as many of those as possible, like I said. I would like to just point out again that I intend to ultimately do multiple games in the 3D game programming tutorial series. The first one's just like the initial game, the initial, here's a simple game to give you a feel for what the technology we've built is like in an actual game. And yeah, so we're not going to create the biggest, most grand thing ever in game one. That'd be a little silly. So as much as I like some of your guys' ideas, some of them are a little bit ambitious for a, a first game in the series sort of thing. So unfortunately, there's a lot of them that I can't include basically just on those grounds. I might be able to include them in later parts of the series, though, so look forward to that, maybe, but yeah. Overall, ultimately, expect maybe a third of the suggestions you guys have made to make it into the uh, the first game. That's what it's looking like right now. Again, it's a little bit crazy planning, so maybe that'll change, but that's what it's looking like. I'm reasonably confident it'll be somewhere around there, maybe plus or minus a little bit, but a third-ish. <laughs> so yeah. So that's what's going on with the game programming series and the Vulcan series, and that's a production disruption. And to close out this video, I'd like to talk about what I'm going to do to address this disruption, to try and minimize the chance of something like this happening in the future. So I've looked into it, and I think the biggest reason this happened is my general paradigm for recording videos. Because I don't know if I've said this before, but the general way I have been doing videos has been in bulk sessions. So I'll have one big section where I'll just do tons and tons of planning, huge amount of planning for huge amount of videos. Then the next time I'll do a bulk recording session where I do huge amount of recording for a huge amount of videos, and it goes blindingly fast because all the videos are already planned out. I can just record and go. Then I'll do huge amount of editing for the huge amount of videos, again, really fast because it's all done at once, and so forth and so on. The advantage of that is it's really good video throughput. It produces a lot of videos for the time invested, but the drawback of it is if something goes slightly wrong in one of the sections, it can snowball and delay everything, like we just saw. So, yeah. That's why I've decided I'm going to try something a little bit different that hopefully should minimize that risk. I'm doing more of an incremental approach this time. Where basically, every day, no matter what else I'm planning on doing, every day I have a certain amount of time that I'm going to be spending on videos. I'm going to do planning and recording in that session. And the trick is, it's like pipelining in CPU architecture. I'm planning one video while I'm recording the video I last planned, while I'm editing the last video I recorded, and yeah, so everything takes in the previous outputs as input and produces new outputs for the next step. So it's kind of like that. And the theory is, if it makes steady, pipelined progress in every area, every day, that should minimize the chance that an issue in any one area disrupts the whole process. And even if it does, this format should make it much easier to see it coming and then do something about it, rather than just let it happen and be like, oh snap, all the videos are delayed, what happened? <laughs> and along that same vein, I've also been looking into putting together a statistical model which can predict how many videos I'll be able to completely produce within a given frame of time. And the idea is, yeah, like I said, that could help me foresee if a delay like this might happen and then do something about it ahead of time. 
but also I could give you all more accurate forecasts of what you could expect from me and when you could expect it, which I think is just a win for everybody. So that's what I've been doing on that front, and that's all I had to say for this video. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.